Hey everybody and welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank 3 walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This is part 15 and also the last part in the walkthrough. Yes, we're only on part 15 and this is already the end. So we're going to the command center. I'll bet you miss your old shield charger, huh? Lucky for you, I just picked one up. Come see me if you're interested. Mm, really tempting, because I actually really miss the shield charger, but I can't be bothered to go to Slim Cognito to get that. So we're just going to jump right into uh, uh, the, the action and finishing off this game. So I think I actually die <laughs> soon because um, on this planet I usually I'm usually like really bad at like the start of this planet. I was actually really good uh, this time, but as you can see, I died really quickly because those enemies take um, down a lot of health actually. But I'm usually just really bad at the start on this planet. But I wasn't really that bad. I think that's the only time I die. I think so at least. So I actually did quite good. But yeah. So this is the last part. So of course this is the most difficult planet in the game. And we just upgraded it to the... What's it called? Decimator? Yeah. So it's now... It's now version 5. So that is perfect. Now it's in its most powerful state. I can't remember if the blade gun type thing is version 5 yet. I can't really remember. Uh, but I'm going to tr I'm really trying to upgrade the rift inducer because uh, that's my newest weapon and I would like to upgrade it. But apparently you can't. I'm not able to get these enemies with the rift inducer. Apparently, or maybe they just wasn't close enough. So actually now we're going to use the tear guys. I can't remember the last time we used the tear guys, but it's fun to use sometimes. I find it a bit boring to press all of these buttons. It's kind of like Guitar Hero in some ways. I actually remember playing Guitar Hero with friends uh, a few years back. I remember that. Not a few, but like many years back. That was really that fun. I didn't really enjoy doing and um, playing Guitar Hero. It wasn't really my favorite type of thing. And that was the first time I messed up during a tear, guys. That's uh, interesting. So of course, the tear, guys, is quite uh, difficult or quite long on this planet. You have to talk with these uh, pteranoids like quite a lot for them to do stuff for you. Like he's not even, um, haven't even, um, oh, I can't remember the word, but I think we're able to do it now. Yeah, there we go. Now he will do this for us, but first I'm just going to get a, a titanium bolt there, and now he's actually going to kill us. <laughs> Not kill us, but attack us. So make sure you put on your terror guys again to do this. You don't have to talk with him again. And now I'm going to exit the terror guys just to get these bolts, because I want bolts. I don't really need to get bolts now though. But it would be nice. So now let's talk to this Tyranoid. Uh, so, uh, I was just about to talk about something that I wanted to talk about in this part, but I think I might wait till later. I don't know. But before you go to this planet, make sure that you like get quite a lot of uh, weapons so that you because you will run out of ammo and it would be quite annoying to run out of all of your ammo and then only have your wrench left. That wouldn't be quite fun. So make sure that you get weapons. 
might get some new armor too. And um, maybe you should also pick up the weapons from Rattling too. So that you can use them when you run out of ammo on your uh, Rattling 3 weapons. Something that's quite interesting about the weapons that from Rattling 2 that you get in this game is that you can actually upgrade them. You can upgrade the Rattling 2 weapons in this game. And if I remember correctly, and I think I do, in Rattling 2, when you got the Rattling 1 weapons, you couldn't upgrade those. So it's quite interesting that we can actually upgrade the weapons from, from Rattling 2 in this game. I like that fact. So, yeah, that just proves how many weapons you have to upgrade in this game. Like, there's so much to upgrade in Rattling 3. Like, it's ridiculous. And there we can see that huge thing. We're actually, that's where we're going, so we need to make our way there. It doesn't take too much time to get there. This planet isn't really that long. But the final boss is a bit long, actually. I think so, at least. So that takes some time, but getting to the boss doesn't take too much time. And I can't remember if there's like a trophy on this planet and a skill point. We did get a titanium bolt though. I did remember that one. But I can't remember if there's like a trophy and a skill point and all that jazz. And I'm trying to use the pulse rifle, even though it's version 5, just to take out enemies from a distance and make sure that I don't die. It wouldn't be fun to die. And now that's the Rift Inducer upgraded to version 4. Perfect. I think there's enemies coming out of this door soon. Oh no, we have to open it with uh, the hacker. Yeah, I don't like using the hacker, as all of you remember by now. But I think this is the last time that we're using the hacker in this game. Which I'm actually quite excited about because I don't really enjoy using the hacker. I don't think it's fun at all. I think it's repetitive and I don't really like any of these types of gadgets that to open doors that we have in a rush tank. Maybe the one, maybe the electrolyzer from Rush Tank 1, or some, maybe one of the ones in Rush Tank 2 was good. But I don't, like, just in general, I don't really enjoy doing, using these gadgets to open these doors. But now I sound a bit negative. But it's true though, I don't really enjoy it that much. But it's fine, it's fine. And, um, yeah, and also, some of these hacker uh, games have a lot of stages, like this one has four stages, so it takes a long ass time <laughs> to do these things. And to be honest, dude, I don't really have uh, the patience for it. I don't have patience at all, like, if I want something, if I want something done, then I want to do it, like, now. That's just one thing about me that I don't really enjoy too much. But this is the last stage, thank god for that. And these shield type things are quite annoying, because then I can't get uh, to the things as quickly as I want to. But that's the hacker done. And we're not done with uh, getting to the final boss yet. Remember, I do have the PDA, so I could use the PDA if you run out of ammo. Like, you don't really have to get like a lot of weapons. If you have the PDA, then you can use the PDA as much as you want. And also the PDA is really useful when you need to upgrade weapons, because then you can just use one weapon, and when you run out of ammo, just use the PDA. And that's a good way to upgrade a weapon because then you don't have to use like all the other weapons too when you run out of ammo on the weapon that you want to upgrade. So that's a good thing about the PDA. 
I enjoy the PDA. I can't remember if I got the PDA on my walkthrough of of Ratchet Clank One. I was about to say Sly One, but uh, that's not the right game. But yeah, I can't remember if I got the PDA in the first game on the walkthrough on this uh, channel. I mean. And now we're almost at the ship. We're almost finished. But there's a lot of enemies here and I think... No, I still have pulse rifle ammo. So let's use it so that I don't die. And my maximum nanotech upgraded to 91. Oh, please work. And the roof user is soon version 5.2 but I won't be able to upgrade it before the final boss. Unfortunately, because the final boss is just through that door. So get your bolts, get mentally ready, I guess. And then we can um, walk through here into a cutscene. And now this ship is going to take us to the final boss, which, as you all can guess, the final boss <laughs> is Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, Dr. Nefarious is one of the best characters in the Ratchet Clank games, like, in all of the games. And now it's our time to battle him. There it is! Nefarious has already initiated the launch sequence! If that thing gets into space, Felden won't have a chance! That's not gonna happen. And we have to glide down, as we've done in all of these types of things. But the, mis the missiles are really bad at hitting us. For some reason, I don't know why. Your flight's been cancelled. Ah, Lawrence! 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 How can I be of assistance? Annihilate him! Just kidding. You've reached my holographic voicemail. Leave your name and a brief message. Ta-ta! Ah, fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> so now... He doesn't have Lawrence to do his dirty work, so he has to battle us by himself. So I always start off in this final boss using, like, not my best weapons, just use your worst weapon so that you run out of ammo on those. But actually, I, I didn't remember doing when I did this boss battle, I couldn't remember that I had the PDA, I just could have used, like, my best weapons and then just use the PDA to get more ammo, but I didn't remember that I had it, so I just... every time I ran out of ammo, I panicked. So please remember that you have the PDA before you go ahead and do the boss. But still, if you don't have the PDA, then use your worst weapons uh, on the start. So that you can use your best weapons at the end when you have like little health too. So that you can get it like quickly finished. But the bad weapons are actually also quite good at against him. I am defeated. I have no choice but to throw myself on your mercy. Really? Uh, I mean, that's right, Nefarious. Your reign of terror is finally... SUCKER! <laughs> God, that cutscene is so funny. I love Dr. Nefarious. He's like... He's just a really fun character. It's really funny. 
he's just really great. And there's also like other enemies coming up during the final boss, like these ones. And one thing that I find annoying, like at this part, I think it's coming up now, is that uh, he kind of shoots like these uh, things at us, like a huge uh, thing. As you can see, he's trying to hit us with that light. I find that so annoying because there, it takes out so much health. It takes uh, like it does so much damage to us. So uh, when you're moving, when you're not behind like a huge barrier, protecting yourself against it, then you should move like really quickly. So I use the charge boots so that I don't get hit. But there's also some nanotech around here that you can use if you want to. But I need to get these enemies because they're really annoying. And now I have full health, 92 in health. And I just lost some health. So be careful when you're going around the corner so that you don't get hit. Because it's not fun to get hit. I'm just using the disc bite gun to get this quickly finished. And the pulse rifle, I love using the pulse rifle, that's like one of my favorites. And uh, but these, I hate these enemies, I've mean, seen so many times through this game also on the Palantir Seldron and stuff like that. And there's so many enemies here and they're all shooting at me. And I'm missing, that's not good. Be careful, as you can see I've got, I don't have that much health, 51 out of 93, not too good. But here are the Galactic Rangers, so the Galactic Rangers actually come to help you at this part in the battle, which is really great so that you don't have to do the whole battle by yourself. So that really really helps. But now we have to get down here and battle Dr. Nefarious again. Continue the battle. Now it's time to take him out. So what weapon should I use? And I still haven't noticed that I have the PDA. I don't notice at all. If I, ha I had to remember that I had the PDA this boss battle would have gone by so much quicker. But I can actually remember that now that I die in this battle soon but with the magic of editing you don't really have to watch the whole thing over again which is great he has a lot of different attacks too which is quite interesting about him but the uh, attack that I hate the most are, is this one, and also when he casts out like a bomb which has like that wave on the ground, and that takes out quite a lot of health when he does it. But these ones are really annoying too. And I'm really running out, and I'm used to terror guys, that was not what I wanted to do. Like, this uh, attack was what I was talking about. And I'm about to die soon too. And he has a lot of... And there I died. But I edited it so that we're back here in the battle. Kind of at the same place uh, where I died. So now I'm just going to throw out like a lot of weapons. I have full ammo on the best weapons. So I'm just going to throw out the attacks and just quickly finish him. Well you need to be quick about it because it's very quick too so you can easily take you out too. So be quick, take him out, 
And, uh, yeah. That's great. And he's trying to run away. And that is like the perfect ending to the battle. Captain Cork comes to the rescue. I love Captain Cork for this. And so now we need to get up into the ship and help Captain Cork taking out this huge robot. You can also use like uh, that uh, car that we always drive around with uh, in with Scrunch. You can drive around on the ground. There's some fun uh, jumps and roads that you can drive on on the ground but you're supposed to use this ship to take him out since we have to shoot him down from the sky and this is the last uh, part of the battle actually so and this isn't really that hard either because you have so much health so let's finish off Doctor Nefarious, with the help of Captain Cork. Specify a destination, sir. Who cares? Just get us out of here. What? That wasn't even close to 60 seconds! Bye-bye. We're live from the star-studded premiere of the latest hollow film in the Secret Agent Clank series. The atmosphere is positively electric as thousands of fanatical fans clamor for a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. Agent Clank, it seems your luck has finally run out. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> your tricks won't do you any good this time, Agent Clank. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, and now I am going to blow you into a million pieces! <laughs> Get this thing off me! <laughs> Well, he got that monkey off his back. <laughs> Mwah. Do not even think about it. And that's the end of the game. Roll the credits. And I love the fact that in the movie theater, when they're going to watch the Secret Agent Clank movie, that like most of the characters from all three of the first Ratchet games like, are in the theater watching the movie. Like, you can pause the video when we're inside the movie theater, like looking at the audience if you want to. If you want to see if you can recognize a few of the characters. So yeah, this is the end of uh, Ratchet Rank 3, which means that I have done all three of the first Ratchet Rank games 
on my channel. But this last one was just a let's play though. So yeah, I'm now finished with them. Which is a bit strange to think about. And uh, what was I going to say? And the credits are quite long as it is in all the Russian Land games, at least the three first ones. So I don't really know what is going to happen with my YouTube channel. Like I said, I would like finish after this one. And I am now finished and I kind of still feel like I want to finish and not do more. But still I also feel like I want to I just I just also feel like I want to do a few more videos. So I don't know what will happen. I might just leave it at this and um, maybe do like a walkthrough some other time. I don't know when. But I might also just go straight to another walkthrough. I kind of feel I kind of want to go straight to another walkthrough. So if you want to figure out, if you want to know what happens uh, with this YouTube channel, if I do do another walkthrough right after this one, like in the next video, then you have to stay tuned. So I really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Ratchet Link 3 up your arsenal. Really hope you enjoyed. And check out my other walkthroughs as well. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description box. And stay tuned for what will happen next. See you, everybody. Bye.
We can't teleport to a planet. I'm afraid we're well out of range, sir. Perhaps if you had bothered to specify a destination... When will we be in range? Oh, I'm sure something will come along in, say, five or ten thousand years. Ah! I don't believe this! Now what? I don't suppose you can play drums.